Hello, welcome to ACS Trainer Pipe Sizing Calculator. Follow these simple instructions to predict the pipe sizes required for an installation. First, make a sketch of the proposed installation and make a note of all the pipe lengths, elbows, bends, and tees required. Divide the drawing into sections. Each section will end at a T or an appliance. The first section will start at the meter and end at the first T. This is shown in blue. We need to know how many sections there are maximum to an appliance. As can be seen to the cooker there are two sections. The meter to the T is one section and the T to the cooker is the second section. Two sections in total. These are shown in blue. We now need to count the sections to the other appliances. Starting back at the meter to the T equals one section. From the first T to the second T equals two sections. From the second T to the fire equals three sections. These are highlighted in blue. We need to continue on to find the sections to the rest of the appliances. As can be seen, two sections from the meter to the first T and first T to the second T. This equals two sections shown in blue. From the second T to the third T equals three sections. From the third T to the DFE fire equals four sections. Also from the third T to the combi boiler equals four sections. Therefore the maximum sections for this installation is four sections. Meter to the first T, first T to the second T, second T to the third T, and third T to either the DFE or the combi boiler. This equals four sections shown in blue. On the pipe sizing calculator, we need to add the maximum number of sections. Ours was four. It is important that this number remains in this box throughout the whole calculation of the system, even when there are less sections. We can now begin to calculate the pipe sizes. We do this by working the pipework out in sections. We need to give a number to the beginning and end of each section. As can be seen, the start point at the meter we've called point 1. The first T we've called point 2. Mark these on your sketch as pipework 1 to 2. The next section of pipework, point 2, is now the start point. Point 3 is the end point at the cooker. Our section of pipework here is 2 to 3. Similarly, point 2 at the T to the next T is point 4. Remember, Point three was the cooker. This section is two to four. 
we need to continue on in the same vein for the rest of the installation. 4 to 5 is the T to the fire. 4 to 6 is the T to the next T. 6 to 7, T to the DFE appliance. And 6 to 8, the T to the combi. All the sections should be listed to keep a track of the pipe sizes required. We are now ready to calculate the first section of pipe. From the meter, point 1, to the first T, point 2. This is highlighted blue. This is the pipe we will calculate first. On the pipe sizing calculator, put the numbers 1 and 2 in the boxes stating start of pipe section and end of pipe section. We need to calculate how much gas needs to pass through this section of pipe highlighted blue. Point one to point two. We add together all of the appliances drawing gas through that section of pipe. As can be seen all of the appliances need to draw gas through that section. We add together the total of all of the appliances feeding from that section. This can be in either net kilowatts gross kilowatts or meters cubed an hour. As can be seen hours is in net kilowatts. 54 kilowatts. That is the cooker plus the fire plus the DFE plus the combi boiler. All of these appliances need to have the gas through the pipe highlighted in blue. On the pipe sizing calculator add the total into the correct box. 54 kilowatt net has been added to the total. We now need to add the total amount of fittings and pipe up to but not including the T the sections highlighted blue. There are two elbows. We also need to add the length of pipe which we have as three meters. This information is added to the calculator in the corresponding boxes. Two elbows in elbows and three meters in pipe length. The pipe size for the section of pipe from the meter to the first T is displayed in the box at the bottom. We have 28 millimeters. You must make a note of this size and section before moving on or follow the instructions to print. We need to follow the same principles for all of the other sections. The next section is 2 to 3, highlighted blue. Add the section numbers, start of pipework section and end of pipework section. Do not change the number of sections, this must stay the same as for the first section. Ours is 4. Add the total amount of gas which could possibly pass through the section of pipe, which is 11 kilowatts. None of the other appliances have gas passing through this section. On the calculator, add to the total gas needed for the section. Ours, 11 kilowatts. Count up the elbows, bends, length of pipe. 
and the T this time. If you look at the T, the gas is entering from the branch. We have three meters of pipe, three elbows and a T with gas entering from the branch. Apply the information into the correct boxes. There are two different ones for T's. One is for gas entering the branch and one for exiting the branch. Ours was entering the branch. Pipe size is stated below. Please make a note of size and section before moving on. Continue working through all of the pipe sections as sections 1 to 2 and 2 to 3, making sure you record or print each section and ensure that you do not change the number of sections calculated and shown in red. If the pipework passes straight through a T, there is no need to count it. Although the sections do end and start at those points. As can be seen, number 2, T, pipework entering the branch. Number 4, T, pipework exiting a branch. Number 6, T, pipework exiting a branch. You can follow us and keep updated with new calculators and information by following us on either Facebook, LinkedIn or Instagram. Thank you.